Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Muhammad Islan from Group 10. Uh, today I want to talk about our assignment. The title for our assignment is Operation Plan for Optical Mouse. So we go to the first slide. To the next slide, sorry. So the abstract and optical mouse is an advanced computer pointing device that uses a light emitting diode is known as LED and optical sensor and digital signal processing DSP. Movement is detected by sensing charge in reflected light rather than by interpreting the motion of the rolling sphere. The optical mouse takes microscopic snapshot of the working surface at a rate of more than 1000 images per second. If the mouse is moved, the image changes. So the next slide is about the introduction. For an entrepreneur, organization plan is one of the key components other than management and marketing strategy. The business strategy requires the manufacture of the good of service to the customer according to price, quantity, inspection, and time. Management of operation can be described as procedure. The process consists of three main components such as business input, transformation method, and output. So, move on to next slide. Organization chart. So, the CEO is me. Uh, Islan. The manager is Amidi, technician manager is Shamim, and the product manager is Alif Ayman. Next, the product tree structure. So the level zero is the complete product. So the complete product for our our assignment is optical mouse. So the level one is the PCB. PCB is okay. PCB is the Printed circuit board PCB, mechani mechanically support and electrically connect electrical or electronic component using conductive track, pad and other features attached from one or one sheet layer of copper laminated onto, onto and or between sheet layer of a non-conductive sub subtract. Components are generally soldered onto the PCB to both electrical connect mechanically fasten them to it. So, next, housing. So, housing is a case that we put our PCB sensor LED to it and a screw to tighten them up. So, the level 2 is sensor. Sensor is a device that measure physical input from its environment and convert it into data that can be interpreted by either a human or machine. Most sensors are electronic, but some are simpler, such as a glass thermometer, which present visual data. So, next is LED. LED is a light emitting diode. It's a semiconductor light source in the, that emit light when current flow through it. Electron is electron in the semiconductor combined with electron hole releasing energy in a form of photo. The color of the light corresponding to the energy of proton is determined by the energy required for electron to cross the band gap of the semiconductor. White light is obtained by using semiconductor or a layer of light emitting photos or the semiconductor device. So the next slide is bill of material as known as bomb. So the item number one is PCB. The quantity we need to build a um, optical mouse is one. So the unit price for one part or one PCB is 44 ringgit. So total price we to PCB is 44 ringgit. So num, item number two is screw. Quantity we need that to make a product is four. So uh, a unit price is uh, 60 cents. So to, total for four screw is two ringgit and 40 cents. Item number three is housing. So we need one and unit price for housing is two ringgit. The total that we use that, that we need is two ringgit. Next is 
sensor. Quantity also one, and a unit price is one ringgit and seventy cent, and total for sensor is one ringgit and seventy cent. Lastly, LED quantity one also unit price is seventy cents, and total for LED is seventy cents. So the total for mouse that we that we built, the price is fifty ringgit and eighty cents. Thank you. That's all from me. Continue with my friends. Peace. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Ali Haiman and I will explain about break even analysis. Break even analysis are determined about the cost, trade off associated with demand volume. We should know about the component which is volume, cost, which is uh, fixed cost and variable cost, uh, revenues and profit. So for the fixed cost in this break even, we got 215852 ringgit and variable cost uh, 50 ringgit 80 cent. So for the price per unit uh, for optical mouse is uh, 105 ringgit. Okay, to know the break even for three years, we should find the volume, which is the formula is CF divided by P minus CV. So the CF is fixed cost, P is price per unit, and CV is variable cost. For the first year, we get 3,900 and 82 units and for the second and third year we get 7,965 units to get the three years of break even we used to so to sum up the first year and second and third and we get 11,988 units okay this is the break even analysis chart fixed cost for three years we get six Four seven five five six uh, ringgit, and for the uh, variable cost we get fifty ringgit eighty eighty cents, and sales per unit uh, one hundred and five ringgit. So at the right side is the profit, and the left side is loss we get from the break even analysis. The yellow line is total cost, and blue line is uh, units. Thank you. For manpower scheduling or MPS, we decide to use heuristics because it's easier and not too complex to use. Our company only open on weekdays which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We take workers depends on the gross demand by that day. So, our company decided to take six workers, which is Ramli, Izzat, Jidin, Uzay, Jihan, and Latif. And they will be in charge, depends on the gross demands of that day. For example, on Monday, our gross demand is 70. So, we decided to, to take four only four workers, which is uh, in the our manpower scheduling. Ramli, Jidin, Jihan, and Latif will be in charge. Okay, for Tuesday, our gross demand is the highest than any day. So, we take all the workers to be in charge on that day. For Wednesday, uh, we gross demand is 100. So, we decide to place 5 workers on that day. And 1 workers, which is Ramli, will be off day. For Thursday, same with the Wednesday. Because the gross demand is uh, only 110. So, we decide to place 5 workers and Jitin will be off day on that day. And Friday, uh, the gross demand is only 90 and we decide to place only 4 workers. And Jihan and Latif will be off day on that day. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Amidi. Now we will continue with Material Requirement Planning MRP. So we have five period here with the gross requirement 70, 130, 100, 110, and 90. And our beginning inventory is zero. Next, we will continue to L4L method. So for this method, we can get the total cost for sensor RM6.8 
an LED RM2.8 PCB RM176 screw RM9.6 housing RM8 and the last one optical mouse RM203.2 now we continue to the EOQ method so as we can see the total cost for the EOQ method is higher than the L4L method so the sensor for the EOQ method the total cost is RM8.88 and LED RM5.75 PCB RM320.66 screw RM16 housing RM11.2 and the last one optical mouse RM321.32 so for the last method is the POQ method so for the POQ method as we can see here there are same total cost with the L4L so for the conclusion we can conclude that both L4L method and POQ method have the same total cost which is RM203.20 lower than the total cost of EOQ method that is RM321.32 so in this case we have to decide that we choose the POQ as our method for this product because it is cheaper than EOQ. Thank you.